In this lesson, we will build our primary foot control. This control that we're about to make will be used to drive the entire leg. Let's head over to our crate panel and we'll go ahead and create a circle shape. We'll draw that out on the grid and right click to come out of the tool. So from here we can go ahead and align it just in position, okay, just in the Y and X to the ball of the foot. We don't want it moving up in the Z, we want it right there on the floor. Okay, so whenever we zero out our control, that foot will go right back to be planted on the floor. So we'll press Alt A, choose our ball helper. We don't want it oriented to that helper at all, we just want it aligned in the X and Y. We'll choose OK. Alright, so from here, we can go ahead and kind of scale this down. We can go to our Modify panel, go to the Radius and kind of drop this a little bit more. Then what I'd like to do is convert this to an editable spline so we can reshape this to the foot. And then by doing so, by using an editable spline, we can also add any points we need to to have it further conform to the character's foot so we can read the control very easily. So I'll just right click and choose Convert to Editable Spline. From there, you can go ahead and go to its vertex level and start to select these and bring them in. Again, so this is clearly read as a foot control. We don't want to spend too much time on these, but it's good to get creative to make it look interesting. We don't want our controls to be boring. It just adds to the fun process of, of animating, in my opinion. All right, so that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go ahead and bring these out a little bit more. And I think that's just fine. Okay, so from here, we can go ahead and rename this now. This is going to be CC for control curve underscore L underscore foot zero one. What I also like to do under the modify panel is actually turn on enable rendering in the viewport. And we definitely need to bring down its size. Let's go to the thickness and drop that. Let's see how 0.5 looks. That might be a little bit too large still. I'll just bring that down some more. Let's say to about 0.2 instead. Okay, we also don't want that color. So let's go ahead and choose another. Let's say we go with a, a light blue. All right, so we have this first uh, foot control set up. It's not done yet. We want that pivot to be right at the angle, at the ankle that is, not at the ball. The reason why is when we go ahead and rotate this, we're going to have a lot of counter keying issues to deal with if that pivot is right there instead of at the ankle. All right, so to do this, we can head over to our hierarchy panel, choose Effect Pivot Only, and press Shift A and snap that right to the, the IK Goals pivot, which has the same pivot as our helper. All righty. So that's exactly where we want it to be. From here, what I want to do is just go ahead and bring this over to the right side. Since we pretty much have this control reshaped, we have the, the position of the, its uh, pivot exactly where we want it to, to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the mirror dialog. Again, we want to make a copy of this. We'll bring this over. And for this, about 4.8 would work. Now, we don't want to leave it there, okay? We want to make sure that its pivot is going to be matched to this IK goal. So with this control still selected, we'll press Shift A and choose the IK goal to make sure that it's exactly where it needs to be. All right, now that that's done, we can go ahead and rename and recolor this. It's going to be R, foot 01, and we can use a, a lighter green for this. All right. Okay, so we have our foot controls set up. 
Now what we also want to do from here is actually go ahead and freeze transformations on this. This is so that whenever we need to reset our transformations back to zero, they'll come back to the same spot. So let me show you something. Selecting the left foot, if we were to go ahead and alt right click and choose freeze transforms, choose yes. And now go ahead and move this. Let's say we're animating this. So, all right, we lift up the character's leg, we rotate it. Maybe he's doing a, a funny dance, I don't know. All right, let's see if we need to go right back to our skin pose or right back to this default position. Well, it's just a matter of alt right clicking and choosing transform to zero. So we definitely want to do that for our controls. We want to make sure that all of them are set up to go back to this, this T pose in the end. All right, so on the right side, we'll do the same. Freeze transforms. And there we have it. Okay, so now that we have our foot controls set up, in the next lesson, we're going to create secondary foot controls that are going to drive uh, mo uh, most of these helpers we have. Okay, and after that's done, we'll work on some bank controls, and we're then going to make sure that this main foot control is going to control everything else so that we can finish up that this, this setup process and move on to something else. So uh, we just have a few more steps to go before we finish up the, the feet.